Another thing we have to protect our network against is ARP attacks like ARP spoofing or ARP poisoning. And we do that using DAI or dynamic ARP inspection. Okay, in order for DAI to work, we have to enable DHCP snooping uh, before DAI will work. So if you haven't watched the video on enabling DHCP snooping, protecting from DHCP attacks, you'll need to go back and make sure you watch that one first. So once that's done, then we can enable dynamic ARP inspection. Now before we do it, just a quick review of our network. On switch one is where we're configuring all of our security. That's the one that's going to be facing the rest of our network. We have G01 as a trunk port back to the core of our network and our DHCP server. F01, F02 are connected to PC011. And then all of our fast Ethernet ports are able to be connected to, and although we've protected them against several other types of attacks in some of our previous videos. All right. So let's look at dynamic ARP inspection and how we can configure it. I'm going to open up S1 and we're going to give ourselves a little bit more room here. Okay. Into the switch, into global config. All right. DHCP snooping has already been enabled. So now what I need to do is I need to enable ARP inspection on specific VLANs. So I want it to be on all of them. So I'm going to do show VLAN brief. And because I'm in config, I'll have to do show VLAN brief. And we have VLAN 1, 10, 20, 30, 40. I'm going to go ahead and enable it on all of them. So my command is IP ARP inspection. I-N-S-P-E-C-T-I-O. And there we go. Inspection VLAN 1, comma, 10, comma... I won't space that out. 10, 20, 30, 40. And that will enable, if I can spell ARP correctly, there we go. That will enable ARP inspection on my VLANs. Now I trust my uplink port because that's going into the core of my network. Nobody should be able to get there. I'm going to go ahead and turn off ARP inspection on that. So it's interface G01 is my uplink port. And just like the DHCP snooping trust, similar command IP ARP inspection trust. Now Back to global config, and in global config, I need to tell it what I want it to validate. And I can have it validate three different things. So let's do the command IP ARP, ARP inspection. validate and then I'm going to do a question mark here so you can see what we've got. So we can validate the destination MAC address, the IP address, and the source MAC address. Now there is a little bit of a trick to this. If I do source dash MAC and then I also want to do hit my up arrow destination dash MAC that actually doesn't work especially when you don't spell destination correctly. That doesn't work. What that does is the last command overwrites the first one. So at this point, I'm only validating against or validating destination MAC addresses. If I want to validate all three, double check the destination MAC address, make sure the MAC address in the Ethernet header matches the MAC address in the ARP body. Same thing with the source. Does the source in the header match the source in the ARP body? Does the IP address? Uh, match what it should so IP inspection checks to see that the art body or checks the art body for invalid unexpected IP addresses including multicast addresses and 000 and 255 255 255 so to validate that I want to val or do my IP inspection so to do all of them it's IP ARP ins I'm just going to do inspect so I don't have to type as much validate and then I'm going to list them all source dash mac space destination dash mac space ip and that will enable all of them so now if i exit out and do show run i have arp inspection for all of my vlans and my arp inspection is going to validate the source mac and the destination mac and the ip if i go all the way down to oops too far 
we'll just scroll back up here a little bit. If I go all the way down to G01, you'll see that we have an IP ARP inspection trust. Okay, so at this point, we've configured our network to protect against, in this video, ARP attacks, and in our previous videos, VLAN hopping and DHCP attacks.